was nice to see these little clips of orchids finally blooming again. But that squirrel, he really wanted me to know that this was his forest and I was under his tree. He does have a bit of a point, I guess. I was just visiting. He has to live here. I was out in the Sibbled Meadows area looking for flowers, whatever kind of flowers I could find. It's a little bit early for very much variety, but the boom of blooms is about to begin. So since the Powderface Trail Road was open, I decided to follow that for a little ways. There's still a little bit of ice in the tributaries that run into Jumping Pound Creek. And Jumping Pound itself was flowing with a little bit of a tan color from runoff. It's usually a really nice drive following Jumping Pound Creek up toward its headwaters, up among these mountain peaks. But then I came across this. Now I know we have to harvest trees to build houses and things, but by any standards, this is just plain ugly. There's got to be a better way to do this than just mowing down the entire forest. So I turned around and headed back and quickly found these lovely flowers and over by Barrier Lake, a clematis that climbed a little spruce tree. Back over in Sibbled Meadows, there are Canada violets blooming. There was bird song, and a bit of a breeze that stirred the brand new balsam poplar leaves. I found these twin flowers by a tiny waterfall not too far from there. This little mini Niagara is only about waist high, but it splashes so nicely. Down the road, there was a family of marmots taking in the sun. And in another meadow, the last of the season's shooting stars were waving in the breeze. I feel like kind of a hypocrite living in a wooden house and complaining about timber harvesting, but I'd like to think there's a better way to get it done. If I could, I'd ask somebody who lives there. But unfortunately, I don't speak squirrel. <laughs> 